Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel again. My name is Joanna. It's so nice to be back. <laughs> oh my god. So on this video, I will try to follow Dope 2111's makeup tutorial. This is the Brat Doll Makeup Transformation. So hindi ko alam kung magagawa ko to, but I will try my best. And uh, I've waited so long to create this video. This is very challenging, very cute, and at the same time, a little bit creepy. <laughs> so, ito yung gagayahin kong look. Yan siya. Ayan. So, um, it's, um, it's gonna be a little bit complicated for me. So, simula na natin. So, uh, I will play it for you. Hello everyone, today I am turning myself into a real life brat doll. This I was highly requested and it's a perfect last minute Halloween look. So follow these so Halloween makeup look steps now. and with your glam outfit, you can finally become the brat doll your 10 year old aspired to be. Okay. Am I ready? <laughs> I'm not sure. My first step always is making sure that the skin is evened out and flawless. I'm okay. using Clinique's newest foundation and just... Okay, so we're gonna put the foundation. So I'm not sure which one to use for this look. Siguro yung mura na lang. <laughs> for this look, I'm going to use uh, this um, L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte. Okay, so... Oh, and I almost forgot, the brows are going to be concealed, so I'm taking this Elmer's washable glue and just pressing it on until the hairs are nice and flat. This is a different... Now I'm just applying the rest of... So fast, okay. So now I am applying glue. Next. Now I'm just applying the rest of the foundation. I'm ready to do the eye makeup, but first I'm going to use the eyeshadow primer. This one is Photo Finish Lid Primer from Smashbox Cosmetics. Photo Finish, I, I think I have it. I have, uh, this is the Photo Finish Shadow Primer, but I don't know why it's, it looks different, but we're gonna use it anyway. I think it's just the same. Just in a different packaging. So, I'm gonna use my finger. Now, you can do a lot of fun color combos for the eye makeup. Okay, so I'm gonna use my Huda Beauty Rose Gold palette for this look. I'm doing this darker purple and pink, so I'm applying it right underneath my actual brows. But anyway, I'm just gonna do my own color. <laughs> A cut crease is a must when you do a brat style look, so I'm taking a thick concealer and applying it to the upper half of my eyes. That I'm going to take this hot pink eyeshadow from Makeup Addictions and sweep it on the center. On the lower lash line, I'm going to draw on my cartoon eyes. Um, I got this cool idea from Miss Gay Mats from Instagram. So even when I open my eyes, it's gonna look like it's part of the cartoon eye. White foundation. Then I'm gonna make the iris. It's this half circle starting literally from the lash line. Um, you can also add some brown and yellow if you want more dimension. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do some shading, especially around the whites. Um, shading is just gonna make it look more realistic. This part is all about outlining, so I'm taking NYX Cosmetics Black Gel Liner and lining my upper lash line just like how you would normally do your eyeliner. After that, you just want to go around the whites and then also the iris. Also, don't forget to line the cut crease area. Now you can see the eyes are a lot more visible. The 
Next, I'm going to take this Black Beauty Blending Crease Brush from Furless and apply some more purple on the outer corners. This is going to make the eyes look more pulled up. To help make the eyes twinkle, I'm going to draw a giant dot on the iris. And then with a gel black eyeliner, we're going to start making the long, luscious lashes on the top and also on the sides. If you want to be extra glam like most Bratz dolls, you can also apply some glitter. I know you can't tell in this camera, but it's super sparkly and pretty in real life. To do the brows, I'm going to take Shella's eyebrow pencil in Elegant Ebony. Now straight to the nose contouring. So Bratz dolls, their noses are really teeny tiny. So you want to contour as close as possible and also shade the nostrils. Okay, this is definitely my favorite part. I'm using a dark mauve lip liner and extremely overlining around my actual lips. It's kind of like Instagram lips in 2020. And to fill in the whole lips, I'm going to take Rimmel London's Lasting Finish by Kate Nude Collection in shade 47. Then I'm going to top it off with this pink ultra glossy lip from ColourPop Cosmetics. Finally, you can see the eyes in full effect with my circle lenses on. Then you want to accessorize, you can put on necklaces, earrings, and my favorite, the sunglasses. And here I am, completely transformed into the super fab and sassy fashion doll. Probably brought back childhood memories for some of you. See you dolls really soon.